about to be inundated with third-party issue ads, never telling us who to vote for, just making it clear to most people who they support. But the rules surrounding these ads are about to change. NBC 15's Zach Schultz has that story. Earlier this year, the Government Accountability Board wrote new rules regulating campaign ads, saying third-party issue groups that run ads before an election need to be treated just like candidates and political action committees. Things that look like, uh, sound like, and act like a campaign ad ought to be treated like a campaign ad. But many of the groups filed lawsuits, and yesterday the Government Accountability Board reached a settlement with two groups agreeing not to enforce a provision that would automatically require them to disclose where their money came from. We would have had to register who our, uh, who our donors are in making those contributions. We would have had to register uh, how much money we spent on those communications. Scott Ross is the executive director of One Wisconsin Now, a liberal group involved in the lawsuit. He says they shouldn't have to disclose who pays the bills just to bring up issues. Now is not the time to have less voices talking about these issues and, and holding people accountable. We didn't want to run the risk that we wouldn't be able to enforce anything. Kevin Kennedy is executive director of the GAB. He says the settlement only strikes one sentence of the rules. The Government Accountability Board says they still have broad powers to regulate issue ads, but there's no longer a strict definition of what violates the rules. I think the Government Accountability Board didn't have to retreat on this. Jay Heck is executive director of Common Cause, advocating for more disclosure. He agrees the GAB still has the power to regulate ads, but instead of being a clear line, it'll be done on a case-by-case -case basis. I still think that the Government Accountability Board will have the ability to require that. I think what's different now, though, is it's going to be more cumbersome for them to do so. Zach Schultz, NBC 15 News. Today, the federal judge that is handling this settlement decided he wanted more information before he would allow the settlement to go forward, but the GAB says it will voluntarily not enforce its disclosure laws while that case is pending.